I'm in beautiful Mexico City in front of the Baja Mexico, which is the second largest bull ring in the world. But I'm not here to see bulls. I've decided I'm going to try and find the best taco in Mexico. And to help me do that, I Googled tacos in Mexico. And guess who I found? Taco. Taco, the taco expert. Now, this guy has a PhD, as in philosophy of taco. That's degree, right. Right? That's correct. So you've eaten more than one or two. Oh, yeah. You're the expert on tacos. Oh, absolutely. All right. And what we're going to do is try and find the very best taco joint in Mexico. And you know what? The taco was invented here in Mexico. So we can probably say that this is not only the best taco in Mexico, but likely the entire planet. Yeah, the best taco in the world. That's the best right. taco in the world. OK, so and you've had a few, I can tell. Yeah, some. All right. <laughs> I'm getting hungry just talking about it. Let's go. Let's go. Bienvenidos al Villamelón. Gracias. This looks like a winner. Let's see. Like yeah, candy. looks like a really good candy. Right. Let's I go love check it out. this contest. Let's go and yeah, let's go check it out. What's it come to? I've gone tourist. We're gonna have well, this lady's been here for a while. She's been cooking these for a while. How long has she been cooking there? Over 50 years. What? Over 50 years. Been here cooking tacos for 50 years. Cooking tacos, man. She had to know what she's doing. Yeah. All right, let's cut one of these out. You have to take them like this. Mm. Crispy. Mm. Oh man, that's spicy. Yeah, it's spicy. Oh, you never told me about that part. Well, that's oh, I gotta take off my hat and let some of the steam off. Mm. Smoky flavor to it? Yeah. You know what? I'm gonna like this assignment. Mm. I'm already liking it. This has gotta be good. She's got all ten fingers still attached. Cerveza. That's what's missing in the equation. Okay, the cerveza oh, is coming. Man. Yeah. You say the secret word? Cerveza. All right, well, we found yet another, another taco joint in Mexico City. Yeah. Tell me about this one. These are tacos de canasta. They're done in a, in, in a little basket and they keep warm. Yeah. They, so it's Where is e it? ecological. Oh, it's over here. What do you mean over here? This is a hardware store. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. They, 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 he takes a little space at the hardware store. We're eating tacos in a hardware store. Yes, electric tacos. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're gonna have tacos in a hardware store. This is our first. Let's study. Let's study. This is a big deal. We're gonna test his tacos and put them up against some of the best in the world. This is a hardware store. Does it, where does he make them? In his house. Oh, so he pre-makes them and then he brings them here and serves them in a hardware store. Exactly. All right, so, you know, you can get your tacos and buy a light bulb at exactly. the same time. Oh, yeah. that's convenient. Yeah, I mean, everybody needs a light bulb Absolutely. sooner or later, so. Uh, <laughs> oh, here's the menu. Yeah. Three for 12 pesos. That's, that's about a good. buck, right? Three for a dollar. Oh, can good. I get an extra circuit breaker with mine? <laughs> yeah, you can get <laughs> I just happen to need some batteries as well. Yeah, that's uh, habanero sauce. It's very, very spicy. Habanero. Yeah, habanero. that ain't happening, pal. Yeah. All right. How about this one? Yeah, that's chipotle. Uh, hot salsa, man. <laughs> oh, man. This is a hardware store. Do they sell fire extinguishers here? Well, you know what? That is good. What is that? Chocolate in there? It's mole. Yeah, mole chocolate. Well, it's, it's mole. got a little kind of chocolate flavor. Made with chocolate. It's a spicy. Thought I'd be eating tacos out of a hardware store. That's stacking up pretty yeah. good, Hako. You know, I'm right at about the spice tolerance limit. How long has he been doing it again? 20 years. That's a lot of tacos. Because he knows what he's doing. Well, it's amazing. It's actually very busy here. Yeah, it gets very busy. It just goes to show you, good food knows no boundaries. It doesn't really matter where it is as long as it's good. People will come, right? That's correct. Even a hardware store. Even a hardware store. I like the mole. That, that has got to be because it's a really pronounced chocolate okay. flavor. We found another great spot. And now you're going to have to try and find Armando okay, and his uh, Rico, Tico, Rico Tacos here in Mexico City in the hardware store. Yeah. You should open franchise over at Home Depot or something. Yet another taco hey. joint in Mexico City. This place has got to be good because there are dozens of people working here. 
You know what's really bizarre is there's a crucifix out there and there's car servers. They are just flying out to the cars. I mean, right. they're like lightning speed. Yeah. You guys must be tired. That makes it so special. In Grab the, the money and go. In the comfort of your Mercedes yeah. or whatever you drive. Yeah, and you, you know, you've heard of fast food before. You ain't seen nothing yet. This is fast food Mexican style. Eat inside and then we can eat one in the oh, car. We'll eat too. Some of the car too. Yeah. All right, cool. let's go. Found a seat in what has to be the most crowded, compact restaurant I've ever eaten in. What do we do? Half a dozen tacos? Yeah. yeah. This shouldn't take more than a couple of minutes. No, they're really when fast. When I saw them out there, it was only back in like. They're really, no, really fast. I just took one breath between when we uh, asked them. Yeah. Gracias. Yeah. Gracias. What, what is that? It's tepache. It's a drink made with pineapple. Oh, that's right. No, but I don't know how much does something like this cost. Fifty cents. Fifty cents each. It's gonna be a close contest. We've come near the end of our quest for the best taco in Mexico City. That's correct. All right, now we're standing in your bed and breakfast, Casa Conde, here in Mexico City, where I happen to be staying right now. Let's say you've uh, arrived by plane to Mexico City, we're staying at your place, and you want a taco at night, and you don't know where to go. We can dial one in, right? Sure, we can call them. El Faraón, buenas noches. Lo atiende Edgar Islas. ¿Qué le puedo ofrecer? Free Spanish lesson. Dos de costilla. Tres quesadillas. Okay, listo para atenderlo. 30 minutes to taco time. Yeah. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna eat these tonight and then we're gonna put in the final evaluation. Let's get to work right now. Okay. Oh, there it is. Right here. All right, that wasn't yeah. even 30 minutes. Tacos del Faraón. Hold it. What could be the best taco in Mexico City. You know, these, I can tell, they already look different. I mean, this is the first taco that actually looks like it has a steak in there. We ordered it, he came here 20 minutes later, and this is actually hot to the touch. I can't, I can actually not, I'm having trouble even holding it. I see you put yours down already. I'm telling you what, we've really worked hard today. And it's gonna be tough, because we've had four, tough. so four, five uh, by the end of tonight. And we're gonna, but we are gonna have to come up with a number one for Mexico City, yeah. and probably, the entire world, the best title on the planet. Bienvenidos al Twitch. Buenas tardes. All right, so what do we got here that makes this taco special oh, in are, Mexico City? These are tacos of, uh, from Yucatan. Yucatan? He's been here for how long? 40 years. 40 years yeah. in this location. Yeah, Pachinita Pibil Tacos Habanero, yeah. Habanero, that means in English, really, really hot. Yeah, good, it's starting to melt the spoon, it's so hot. Yeah, very different flavor than the other ones, you're right. Yeah. 40 years for him to learn how to make good tacos, 10 seconds for me to devour one. We're sitting here at a stand, there's probably a dozen people that have come in here, all walks of life, some people in suit, so it's obviously very popular. Very popular, yeah. yeah. Wow. You know, I put like, <laughs> literally a microscopic dot of that habanero sauce on there. If I had anything bad inside me, it's not there anymore, that's for sure, that habanero sauce killed it. Taco, Taco the Taco King. We've got our accounting firm who've been tabulating the results all night. May we have the results, please? Okay, thank you. This is it. The five top taco joints in Mexico City. Right. And only these three ladies know who it is. That's correct. Starting out at number five is El Ferrion. Number four, El Torres. Coming in at number three, one of my favorites, the one with the drive-in, El Borrego Viudo. And I'm sorry about my Spanish. Coming in at number two, which will reveal number one, number two tacos, the Canasta. And the number one taco joint on the planet, because Mexico City is the home of the taco, is El Vietnam. Let's hear it for El Vietnam. Hey! The best taco in the world. Congratulations, El Vietnam. This is not an easy assignment. We went through dozens, maybe even hundreds yeah. of tacos. We're here, we've lived to talk about it. Yeah. And you know, every one of the competitors was very good. And certainly, well worth trying. If you're coming to Mexico City, the thing to do is to visit them all. Certainly these five, and we'll list them here for you. So you don't have to go hungry when you're in Mexico City. This is Percy Von Lipinski for CNN Eye Report.